This video will introduce you to eCall, or Emergency Call, in the Telematics Application Framework, or TELAF. You'll learn about eCall, the TELAF eCall service interface, and the eCall application with a demo of the TELAF eCall application. eCall was introduced for safety and protection. Emergency calls are initiated when an accident takes place. They can be started automatically or manually. An automatic e-call is started based on sensor events. A manual e-call comes from a passenger in the vehicle initiating an e-call. During an e-call, a minimum set of data, or MSD, is transmitted to the Public Safety Answering Point, or PSAP. The MSD includes information regarding the vehicle location, vehicle identification number, vehicle type, passenger count, and so on. The PSAP answers the call and takes the necessary actions. The TELAF eCall service provides interfaces for setting different eCall operating modes. You can set eCall operating mode in eCall only mode, during which only eCall will be supported. Another mode is normal mode, in which either a voice call or emergency call can be started. The service provides an API to set and get the MSD transmission mode, whether it is pull or push mode. You can start or end the e-call using the TELAF e-call service interfaces. You can start an e-call in automatic or manual mode. There are multiple APIs to set the MSD information separately. Each part of the MSD information can be set separately using APIs to get or set vehicle identification numbers, get or set vehicle storage propulsion type, and so on. The application can receive different e-call states if it subscribes to the state events. E-call states include e-call in dialing mode, MSD transmission started, MSD transmission completed successfully, MSD transmission failed, timer expired, etc. The client application can receive all the events as long as it registers the event handler properly. The TELAF e-call application accommodates different TELAF services, GPIO, General Purpose Input Output. The application can make use of GPIO for getting an event, for example, an accident. It can start an automatic e-call if the user has registered for a particular PIN. An event change in that PIN can initiate an automatic e-call. Location. It is used to get the current location of the vehicle. MSD requires a current location that can be read using these location services. Other vehicle information needs to be set from the client application side. Audio. If there is any audio communication between the vehicle and PSAP, this service is used from the eCall application. eCall. This service is to set all the MSD information, to start eCall in automatic or manual mode, to end the eCall, or to receive a different state. Let's look at how to use the eCall interfaces. These are the states supported in eCall. These are some of the events that the client application can receive. PSAP underscore start underscore received. MSD underscore transmission underscore started. LL underscore ACK underscore received. Link layer acknowledgement. MSD underscore transmission underscore success or underscore failure. Time expired events. MSD vehicle type conforms to the European eCall MSD standard. It can be any type shown here and must be set up from the client app. These are the different operating modes for the eCall service, such as force only mode and force persistent only mode. Exit only mode exits from eCall mode and switches to normal mode. Using get configured operation mode, you can read the current eCall operating mode. With these, you can set and get different pieces of MSD, like MSD version, passenger count, position, vehicle type, and vehicle identification number. Import MSD is setting MSD with an encoded MSD. And you can export an encoded MSD using the Export MSD API. Use Start Automatic with eCall Ref to start an automatic eCall. Use Start Manual for manual eCalls. Use Start Test for test eCall. Use the End API to end the current eCall. Use Get State to get the current state of the eCall. 
Those are some of the interfaces supported in the TeleF eCall service. When you are developing an eCall application, you should define the eCall component with the component definition file, and then the application definition file. Inside the application definition, or ADEF file, you see that your eCall app component is bound to different services, as described earlier. This app uses the eCall service, location service, GPIO service, and audio service. The eCall application component is bound to all of these services, creating an executable process as TAF eCall app. Inside the component definition, or CDEF file, you see all the required APIs for the eCall.C source file. Let's see how eCall.C uses different services. You can register for a particular PIN using TAF underscore GPIO, add change event handler, and TAF underscore GPIO underscore edge underscore rising. When there is a change in the event, GPIO change callback handles the callback. At that moment, start auto eCall starts an automatic eCall. That includes starting GNSS, requesting a position, creating an eCall reference, updating the location information in the eCall reference. The 2D location comes from the location service API TAF underscore POS underscore get 2D location which returns latitude, longitude, and horizontal accuracy. TAF underscore POS underscore get direction gets the direction and accuracy. The location accuracy and direction are measured with is position trusted. All of that is set as MSD position information for the eCall using TAF underscore eCalls underscore set MSD position. Once the location information is updated, other MSD information is updated as well, using set VIN, set vehicle type, and set propulsion type, here set to gasoline tank. After setting all required MSD information, the passenger count is set here, to two passengers. Then the automatic eCall starts using the eCall service API, TAF underscore eCall underscore start automatic. Just giving an eCall reference starts an eCall. The MSD transmission starts when the connection is established, you can then end the eCall if it's not needed anymore. Let's see the demo of the eCall application. App status shows that TAF eCall app is installed and currently stopped. Go to the folder that contains the executables. Run the application. You see the information on how to run TAF eCall app. Use get op mode to check the operating mode for the slot, which is currently mode underscore eCall for eCall only mode. You can use set op mode to change it to normal mode. Now that the app is in normal mode, let's see how to run an eCall in automatic mode by using the TeleApp eCall app. eCall is started in automatic mode. You can see that dialing is started. An emergency call has been started in the PSAP simulator on the left. MSD has been received also. Click the MSD poll button. Another MSD transmission starts and the MSD is received. Repeating the MSD poll shows that we have received the MSD location information, number of passengers, two, vehicle propulsion type, gasoline tank present, vehicle identification number. Finally, the e-call is stopped. Thank you for watching. Please watch the next short video in our TeleAF series called TeleAF Location Service.